I'd also like to speak about our province's relationship with Ottawa. As Albertans, we love our nation deeply. Canada is our home, and Canadians are family. However, the federal government's treatment of all provinces, most especially Alberta, is unacceptable. The government in Ottawa is intentionally and systematically attempting to control and regulate all aspects of our province's economy, resources, and social programs. Through equalization and transfers, they funnel billions of your tax dollars away from you and into a black hole of federal bureaucracy and vote-buying arrangements in other parts of the country. These continual federal attacks on our economy and provincial rights cannot be allowed to continue. The Canadian Constitution is clear. The federal and provincial governments are equals. We both have sovereign areas of exclusive federal and provincial jurisdiction. Albertans, not Ottawa, are in charge of developing and exporting our resources, growing our economy, and delivering health care, education, child care, and other programs in the manner that we, as Albertans, choose. In about a week's time, our government will introduce the Alberta Sovereignty Within a United Canada Act. This legislation is designed to be a constitutional shield to Albertans so that when Ottawa implements a policy or law attacking our economy or provincial rights, our government will not enforce these unconstitutional measures in Alberta. We will put the rights of Albertans first, always. Now, some are attempting to scare folks into thinking that this legislation has something to do with leaving Canada. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, this new law will have the opposite effect. By restoring and respecting the constitutional rights of our creative and diverse provinces, including Alberta, Canada will become stronger, more prosperous, and more unified than ever. As Albertans, we must no longer ask permission from Ottawa to be prosperous and free. We must be free to chart our own course as a senior partner in a strong and united Canada. In closing, my fellow Albertans, I wish to speak about something personal. Serving as your Premier is by far the most challenging thing I've ever done. I know that I'm far from perfect, and I make mistakes. And having spent decades in media and hosting talk shows, I discussed hundreds of different topics and sometimes took controversial positions many of which have evolved or changed as I've grown and learned from listening to you. But I know I'm not a talk show host or a media commentator any longer. That's not my job today. My job today is to serve each and every Albertan with everything I have and to the best of my ability, however imperfect that may be at times. I must be humble, listen, and continue to learn from you. I must also be strong, focused, and determined to do what I believe to be in the best interests of Albertans no matter how hard that is. But when I'm wrong or make a mistake, I will look to follow the example of our dear departed friend, Premier Ralph Klein. Admit to it, learn from it, and get back to work. Because that is the Alberta way. I love this province and everything it stands for. We are a land of pioneers and farmers, entrepreneurs and innovators, communities and families, a place where the best and brightest come from every corner of this world to join with us in building one of the greatest places on earth to live, work, and raise our families. Together we can and will overcome every challenge we face to ensure that our province's best days are still to come and that Alberta forever remains strong and free. Thank you and good night.